Welcome guys, uh, this is my new tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna tell you about how to get your Wi-Fi, USB Wi-Fi working on your Mac. So the first thing is that you need, if you don't got a built-in Wi-Fi in your Mac, then what you can do is you can get a USB compatible. Uh, one, the one I'm using is a really uh, cheap one. I bought it for around 12 bucks uh, here and it, its version is Wi-Fi USB adopter 300 Mbps link speed model name is RT3020L it's RT3020L so what you need to make it work on your Mac is you go to I have downloaded the drivers Mac Wi-Fi or uh, link so we go to driver leave this uh, panel and read me go to drivers now here you will see there are like the older models there is uh, sport is for Mavericks but uh, it works on almost every model of the OS X uh, I used it on Yosemite and I am right now using it on El Capitan 10.11.1 you can see it's 10.11.1 so you go to RT drivers and you can just copy this drivers to your system or there is a shortcut you can use a uh, text uh, utility text utility you go there you just press and it start running some sp specific permission restoring and what you have to do is you have to drag this over this and what you need one more thing you need is Wi-Fi Mac Wi-Fi and uh, this is Mac Wi-Fi by beer extender 5.4 so once it have done the process or oh, let me let me open it on the other side so you can see now here is three different things like what you have to do is uh, let it repair the permissions so uh, you can drag and drop it and it will ask you password when it's gonna start installing the RT2870 wireless drivers this driver works for almost five six or seven different models of uh, Wi-Fi adopters that are given by a or uh, real neck uh, I don't know how I'm pronouncing it right real neck raw link or RA link so now yes here it asks the password for you now you enter the password now it's installing that RT2807 to your system slash library slash extensions so once it done it will update your system cache for it to work now what you have to do is you have to open the beer extender for 5.4 and go to the remove workaround first once it's done you go to continue install and it will ask for our system restart once you done it then you again go uh, open this beer extender this time after the restart I mean and now you remove all files you say continue install and it will do a restart once again in the third time you have to install this install beer extender continue continue and once the password enter it will ask for a one more restart but before this restart you have to plug in your wireless USB adopter you have to plug in your USB adopter before the restart once it's installed and it will ask you to restart the system you just plug in the uh, USB driver USB drive and it will configure it ready next time so once it's restart what you have to do is you have to go to systems and here you will see uh, I got USB 2.0 adopter and right now it's unplugged because I have not turned on the beer extender wireless utility once I turn it on here you will see like it's one two three four five five dots you open beer extender now in favorites there is uh, my Wi-Fi network and if you put it in the favorite section it will automatically connect it to the syst uh, system once 
the system turns on. Now you can see a green uh, circle here and you can also see that my wireless VLAN turned connected so you don't need to activate it close and here you can see I got an IP address and all the stuff so now I will show you like look in, look, uh, you can see that there is no other network connected I will go to Safari and I will search Google and uh, you can see it's working and and the link speed is really fast one more thing uh, this this device works on both USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 because the link speed is around 300 Mbps and a USB 2.0 sports around 480 Mbps uh, attaching it to a USB 2.0 will not degrade the speed it's still less than it's still less than one gigabyte link speed but it's enough for a wireless network if you're using some speed of less than 100 Mbps internet connection that's all uh, thanks for watching hope you guys like please subscribe to my channel please share the video if you like and if you have any question query do post a comment I would really appreciate any comments post posted on my channel thanks for watching take care Allah face meet you in the very next video